Hey everybody, Dave Williamson, the Toy Car Collector here. That's right, Dave Williamson, Toy Car Collector at gmail.com. What I've got for you today is I just got in my most recent order of rep <laughs> replica boxes for Matchbox cars from the 60s. The Matchbox from the 60s. Now, if you need boxes to display with your collection and you don't want to spend tons and tons of money on original boxes, well then go to this website, replicaboxes.com. And for $3.25 a piece, plus shipping and handling, let's say I got all these for $18 postage and a total of $250 because I ordered so darn many and some I ordered too many of, I'm probably pretty sure of. But anyway, what a great deal. And then you can display these with your Matchbox and they'll look so much cooler and save you so much money. So let's get into this box right now. Now, when you go to replicaboxes.com, you will find that they also have boxes for the larger matchbox, for the king size. And they are, oh, look how they come. Isn't that a thing of beauty? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. You can order them in E-boxes, F-boxes, A-boxes, B-boxes, you name it. Then all you have to do is put them together. Now, usually I get them all out and put them together, and then I have a big mess of boxes. I think I'm going to start leaving them flat. I really am. Now, if you have any questions, contact Kevin at replicaboxes.com. That's Kevin at replicaboxes.com. I highly recommend these boxes. Let's take a look at a few of them. Look how beautifully they are prepared. $3.25 a piece. You cannot beat that. You would have to spend anywhere a really cheap box uh, for an original matchbox. Original box would be like 20 bucks, and a good one would be like 60 or 70 dollars could be and the reason being is that if you take a car like the other day I had a number 22 uh, Grand Prix Pontiac red min condition probably can't even give it away at 35 dollars but if you put it in a box it's a hundred dollar piece that is right the boxes are where it's at when it comes to matchbox let me get some of these open I don't know if they're organized it doesn't matter I will organize them after I get them out and we look at them all right, let's bust into these plastic bags. Do I need to scissor them? No, I think they got tape. Now, when you get these, let's see. When you get these and you pull them out, make sure you don't... If you got tape right here, make sure you don't got the box stuck on the tape. Oh, look at the way he did that. That's really nice. He put... Boy, that's a lot of effort there. Wrapping them up like that, that's so nice. So I got some 52s, the BRM race car. That must mean I have an extra one. What is this? Oh, there's 10C, but these are not... I don't... I'm not sure what the program was here. Let's see. So we've got, oh, look at that. I love the grid spreader. That's a great one. Got three of those, four of those, five of those, six of those, seven of those, eight of those. Okay. Hmm. Do I have eight grid spreaders? Is that true? Could that be true? They are somewhere around here. I must have them somewhere. Why did I order 10 grid spreader boxes? I don't know. Could have made a mistake or maybe not. Anyway, I've got several boxes of Matchbox with no boxes. So they must be around here somewhere. I've got so many Matchbox. Matchbox, by the way, if you're watching this video for the first time, thank you. Be sure to subscribe. Hit the uh, button, notification button so you know when the new videos come out. Uh, I've had a fantastic month last night with... <laughs> a fantastic month last night. Oh, that's funny. Okay, no, no, I'm too old to have a fantastic night. No, uh, or at least late at night. <laughs> anyway, I had a fantastic month last night making Matchbox videos. Crying out loud, look at all these tractors. Crying out loud, I must have a bunch of tractors around here somewhere. I do remember placing this order. It does take about uh, about a month to get an order once you've placed it and paid for it. Maybe a little longer. I'll have to check, but it's well worth it. And um, I knew at the time exactly what I needed, and... No, of course, I don't know what I needed, but this must be it. Oh, look at this. You know, I always need 26s. Number 26. That, you know, the funny thing about this number 26, it's a really beautiful model, but man, I tell you what, it is not popular at all. Oh, now that, ambulances, those are always popular. Oh, long life bus. Beautiful, beautiful. Oh, look at that. Yes, I know I have one of these that's got sticky, sticky paint. So I've decided to put it with a reproduction box because if a matchbox car is kind of beat up a little bit or 
not really beat up, but got some wear on it. You're not gonna put it with an original box. You're gonna put it with a nice reproduction box. Look at that. And then you just put them all together. Just put them all together. Let me grab. Oh, there must be matchbox around here somewhere. Come on, Dave. What do we got? Do we have any matchers here? Hmm. There are more, 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 more. Maybe I was just trying to get one of every one. I don't know. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that. Combine, 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 combine. Got the F box, got the E box. Look at that. All right. This is how they go together. Now, when you get them, sometimes these are a little stiff. So what you want to do, bend these back a little bit. I don't get too crazy. Push this all the way in. Push it in and then push it back out. Just to give it, break it down a little bit so it can, I'm going to stick the scissors in there, push it back out. Come on, come on out. All right, there you go. Because sometimes you just got to give them a little more bend. Otherwise, they'll uh, stick out a bit. You don't want that. So push them in there, squish it down, reach back in there. Reach back in there with something that won't hurt it. Come on. And let's see how that worked. Class combine. All right, look at that. Nice, right there. And here, oh, and by the way, it says replica boxes right on it. All right, isn't that beautiful? That is beautiful. I love that. Let's take these Hot Wheels out of the way. I'll just stack this right here. And uh, let's do a couple more here. Let's see what else we got. Oh, there's the Greyhound bus. If you love the Greyhound bus, I got a bunch of them in the original boxes and reproduction boxes. So on my website, everything is clearly marked as to whether it has an original or a reproduction box. That's very important information. And it has, all the information is there. Feel free to ask questions. Oh my goodness, why do I have 10 of these? I don't know. Probably, you know, now that I think of it, probably what I was thinking I was going to do is I have a lot of these Greyhound buses. It's not a big seller, but it is a beautiful one because I think everybody's got one already. So it's going to take some out of the original boxes, put them with this. So instead of selling them for $39 in the original box, I'll just sell them in this box for $20. People might be more likely to buy them. And then I can sell the box for $20 or more. And they might be likely to buy that too. Who knows? Gotta keep thinking. Gotta keep thinking when you're buying and selling toys because that is what I do now. And I have done for 35 years or something like that. Really all my life. I just love toys. I love them. Oh, it's funny. These are all folded down like that. It's interesting. All folded down like that. What do we got? We've got the orange in the F box and the E box. Got that. You know, I'm making a real mess here, right? One of the reasons I'm making this huge mess is because I like to keep my videos to be between about 10 minutes and 20 minutes. Sometimes I'm making 20 minutes because I can go and go and go. And it's all for your, the sake of your entertainment. And this is the trailer box. Apparently I felt like I needed 10 of them, so I must have a stash of trailers around here somewhere. But you know, it was five weeks ago, and five weeks, a lot of things have happened in the last five weeks. I got a huge collection of Matchbox in, in the last five weeks and made five videos about it. Video number one in the series has had like 75,000 views, and then the video two, three, four, and five, not so many. So get out there and watch them. They're all pretty darn cool. It's all me revealing this huge collection I got in. Really neat stuff. That's a great collection. And look at that. Oh, got the 51. Is there 51 around here somewhere? What is it that I have behind me? I have a whole box of... I thought I was getting cars for... Or boxes for the cars in this box. But it must have been for cars in a different box somewhere. Because I am not seeing any boxes for these models in that lot. Maybe I just screwed the whole thing up. Nope. There's my list. It's exactly what I ordered. All right, I finally figured out why I got these boxes. It wasn't for the ones matchbox in this one that says boxes needed. No, it was for the ones down here under the table. Ah, yes, there it is. I've got 10 trailers with no boxes. All right, I'm going to dig these out. Oh, I'm going to make a huge mess. My goodness, dig these out. And these are all mint condition cars that have no boxes but then again i did get a huge collection of original boxes in in that last lot and so some of these will go in there whoa there goes my apple ipad my ancient apple ipad you still have one of these 
I do. All right. Well, thanks everybody for watching this video. Be sure to check out my other videos. They're all for your watching pleasure. Almost 600 plus YouTube shorts now. My goodness. Thanks for watching. Dave Williamson, Toy Car Collector. And if you need Matchbox with original boxes or reproduction boxes, give me a holler. David at Toy... <laughs> what is my email address? Toycarcollector at gmail.com and my phone number 503-956-3708. On the website. See you there. See you in the videos. Thanks, everybody. Bye-bye now.